Hey, I'm Al McGee with YETicket.com. Well, the film I'm going to talk about right now is called House of Gucci. But guess who directed this film? Ridley Scott. I love Ridley Scott's work. And well, let me tell you about this film. Well, first of all, House of Gucci is based on a book by Sarah Gay Forden. And you know, you have all these different writers like Becky Johnston and Roberto and Sarah, and Sarah Gay too. She also got involved in writing the script. So when I started to watch this film, I said, well, why is Ridley Scott talking about the Gucci, showing this film, this information about the Gucci's? First of all, I never knew anything about the Gucci's. Uh, you know, I bought some things along the line over the years. And it's and you know their fashions are very popular with people. Uh, I see it everywhere, and I never knew their history. In this film, I get to learn some of their history. You know, almost all their history now. First of all, Ridley Scott cast well this with people who are very good, very good. First of all, you got Lady Gaga. She played Patricia. Uh, Gucci. And a little bit about her, well, her family owned trucks. And the business was very good. And she worked there in the office uh, with her father and, you know, other relatives with the trucking business. And, you know, every time she got out of the car, the men at the trucking company, you know, always blew her a whistle and things like that, because she's a very beautiful woman. And, you know, one day she was at a party. Well, let's say one night. She was at a party and she meets Adam Driver. He plays Mauricio Gucci. Now he's in law school and you know, he's really not involved with the Gucci business, but his father played by Jerry, Jeremy Irons or Rodolfo Gucci. He was the head man, well, the second head man of Gucci because his uncle, which is played by Al Pacino, he played Aldo Gucci. Those were the two main guys who kept Gucci alive and making all that money for Gucci. So Mauricio, he goes to his father, Rodolfo, and say, hey, look, I met this woman. We've been dating for a while. I love her, and I want to marry her. And of course, Rodolfo said, don't. Uh, you have a lot of problems. Uh, she's just a gold digger. Well, I don't care what you say, dad. I'm going to marry anyway. So Rodolfo cuts him off from the family, from the money, and everything. He, he really did. So, so um, Mauricio had to go live with uh, Patricia's family until they got married. And the sad thing about the marriage is, well, the actual ceremony, none of the Gucci showed up except for a couple. And I really didn't get to understand who this couple was. But they didn't show up. They didn't give him his support, anything like that. And the family, well, you know, they rejected her. But once they married, and well, she started to work her little magic around the company. First of all, she uh, gets involved with Aldo Gucci. And what I mean by that is she, she, she becomes very friendly with him. Very, very friendly. And that's because Aldo realized she's a very beautiful, smart woman. And he said, look, why don't you two come to New York with me and help me run the business out of New York? Of course, Rodolfo, he, he didn't like that. Uh, but there is a little fly in this ointment. And it is Paulo. Gucci, which is played by Jared Leto. He's the son of Aldo, but they shut him off. He's broke. He's, he's not a success as a Gucci. And they, they just didn't like this guy at all. They didn't like him at all. They thought he was an idiot. So that's how they treated him. Well, you know, things started going on until Patricia, she meets Pena which is played by Selma Hayek. And Kenya is, well, a fortune teller. Yeah, you know where this is going to, right? Also, Domizio, which is played by Jack Houston, 
he's like the lawyer for the family. He's always around and things like that. He, he knows everything about the Gucci family, about the Gucci business. But of course, Patricia, she went a little bit over her head and things like that, and, and things happen. I will admit, Patricia is an outsider, and she uh, really stirred up that pot in this film, House of Gucci. I feel that Ridley Scott, when he did this uh, film, that he wanted to tell the story of this fabulous family and about what happened to them and what is happening to them now. And the actors, boy, when I watched Lady Gaga, her with her acting, she reminded me of Elizabeth Taylor. That's right. And I met Elizabeth Taylor years ago. And I was I always figured she was a wonderful actress. And in this film, Lady Gaga proved that to me. And not only that, Adam Driver too, it's Mauricio. He was kind of toned down from what I usually see him in which was very good. I really enjoyed that. But Jared Leto as Paulo, oh man, as the cousin, as the son, well, whew, he really did a great job too. And Selma Hayek, boy, you can see her influence in this film from her acting. House of Gucci is a very, very good drama, a very good film. And I will say, go see this film and I'm gonna rate this film. I'm gonna give it four palm trees out of four. Four out of four. Why? Because I loved it. It's entertaining, the acting, the director, Ridley Scott, and the writing. And I did not know anything about the Gucci's and this film taught me a lot. House of Gucci, four palm trees for me, Al McGee. And go see it. Also, thank you for watching my review. I this is your entertainment ticket. Latest and greatest movie reviews.